in our fourth day of Fill the Fridge, a time when generous, uh, many of you out there who are very generous donate fresh foods, milk, yogurt, those in need actually receive all that. The Now's Terra Hall is at the Price Chopper in Lee Summit right now, and it's hunger is something that all of us can help with, and uh, you're out there today probably meeting a lot of pretty amazing people. Yeah, meeting so many great people willing to donate, and here is one of the reasons why. When it comes to childhood hunger, kids aren't just hungry for knowledge in the school. It turns out they're also hungry, and that can get in the way of how they learn. That's why Fill the Fridge is teaming up with harvesters to find a way to end childhood hunger. Most kids dread getting sent to the principal's office, but for the students at Thomas A. Edison Elementary in Kansas City, Kansas, they look forward to it. You don't have to explain anything to me. You don't have to explain anything to your teachers if you're hungry. Here's some food. You see, 85% of the kids who attend TA Edison live at or below the poverty line. At home, many don't even know where their next meals are coming from. That's why Principal Cindy Kopp keeps her office stocked with snacks. We feel it's important to take care of the whole child. Yes, our job at school is to educate the child, but in order for a student or a child to be ready to be educated, they have to feel secure. And secure means safe, and it also means being taken care of, knowing where their next meal is coming from. Part of our responsibility is giving our students the basic needs, and if they don't come with one of those basic needs met, we can't expect them to be successful that day. Second grade teacher Sarah Starforth sees the destruction hunger can wreak on a student's body and mind. So she keeps an arsenal of crackers and granola bars on hand for hungry kids. Still, she wishes she could do more. I have do peanut butter crackers or Cheez-Its or granola bars because they're pre-packaged and individually packaged, easily slips into their back, backpacks. I wish we could do more like fresh fruit and fresh veg vegetables and trying to teach them about healthy choices and high protein, high fiber, but that obviously is not <laughs> yeah. feasible. That is until now. With Fill the Fridge, her students will get fresher foods like apples and grapes, cheese and milk. Foods that not only fill their bellies, but also fuel their days for learning. So they can be hungry for knowledge and not nutrition. All right, and so all of those people donating today at this Price Chopper and Lee Summit and all of the others across the metro will be helping kids like those at T.A. Edison. And just to give you an idea of what's going in all of these coolers, we've got butter, yogurt, some meats and cheeses, even more things over here like fresh vegetables, all foods that kids who are hungry don't necessarily always have access to. So if you have some extra time and a little extra money, this might be something worth investing in. Back to you guys in the studio.